This time we're going to try doing some basic multiplication with reasonably small numbers, but large enough that we'll be able to employ our times table. If we were only interested in doing one-digit multiplication, then we could just read our results off of the times table directly. For something a little larger, like, say, 13 times 25, we're going to want to use our times table to do the small parts. Then we'll just end up with a lot of addition to do. So I'll start with 5 times 3. 5 times 3 is 23. So I'll write down 3, carry a 2. Now I have 5 times 1. Well, I know 5 times 1 is 5. And I need to add 2 to it. So that will give me 11. So I will write down the 11. Now I have the 2 times 13, which will give me 2 times 3 is 10. Then 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3. Now I just have to add these two up. I get 413 in base 6. But we can also do larger numbers. Like these two. So I have 5 times 4 is 32. So I'll write down the 2, carry the 3. 5 times 2 is 14. Plus 3 will give me 21. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 2 is 11. 5 times 3 is 23, plus 1 is 24. Now I have 3. 3 times 4 is 20. So I'll write down the 0, carry a 2. 3 times 2 gives me 10. And I need to add 2. So I'll get 12. Write down a 2 and carry a 1. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 1 is 4. Then 3 times 3 is 13. Now I have 5 times 31, 24 again. So I'll get 2, 4, 1, 1, 2 out again. So I'll just write that part down. Now I have 2 times 4, which is 12. Down a 2, carry a 1. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 3 is 10. Now I just need to add all four of these terms together. 2, 1, 5. Now I'll have some carrying. 4 plus 2 will give me 10, plus 5 more. So I'll have 5 carry 1. 10 plus 10 gives me 20. So 10 plus 3 is 13. 3, and 1. So that's what we get when we multiply those two numbers in base 6.